hello dear friends welcome my channels today's discussion is based on limit and calculus so friends i solve some limit problem number one limit x tends to 0 a to the power x plus b to the power x plus c to the power x divided by 3 e to the power lambda by x so to solve the sum it can be written this way e to the power limit x tends to 0 a to the power x plus b to the power x plus c to the power x divide by 3 minus 1 into lambda by x equals to e to the power e to the power lambda limit x tends to 0 a to the power x plus p to the power x plus c to the power x minus 3 divided by 3x equals to e to the power lambda limit x tends to 0 a to the power x minus 1 divided by x b to the power x minus 1 divided by x plus c to the power x minus 1 divided by x equals to e to the power lambda log we apply the hospital so friends you see that limit it can be written this way limit x tends to 0 1 plus x 1 1 plus x whole to the power 1 by x equals to e to the power log 1 plus x by x so friends i just write this way e to the power log 1 plus x by x minus e plus x e divided by 2 divided by x square equals to limit x tends to 0 1 plus x friends you have to know one formula I write one formula formula log 1 plus x is equal to x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 plus up to dot dot plus x to the power up to infinity so friends I apply this formula in here so whatever I get I get e to the power 1 minus x divided by 2 plus x square by 2 x square by 3 minus plus to root up to infinity divided by minus e plus x e divided by 2 divided by x square so friends i just use this formula in here now i can write this way now i apply la hospital so whatever i get i get limit x tends to 0 e to the power 1 minus x by 2 plus x square by 3 plus up to infinity infinity so it is minus not plus up to infinity plus e by 2 divided by 2x limit x tends to 0 divided by 2 2 because deriv derivative of x is equal to 1 into 1 derivative of x square 
x square x square derivative is 2x so it is the apply application law of Peter rule so e to the power 1 into x by 2 plus x square by 3 minus x cube by 4 and sorry friends there is some mistake into just chain rule e to the power t so ddx of e to the power t you will do e to the power t into, into dt by dx that i apply in here so it should be minus half plus 2x by 3 minus minus x cube by 4 so it should be 3x square divided by 4 and plus up to the infinity minus and plus e by 2 so friend as if you we, we put 0 in here so we get again 0 by 0 form so friends we can write this equation limit extends to 0 e to the power e to the power 1 minus again i i apply la hospital plus x square by 3 minus x to the x cube by 4 plus up to infinity and it should be multiplication minus half plus 2x by 3 minus 3x square by 2 by 4 up to infinity whole square and plus e to the power 1 minus x by 2 plus x square square by i apply product rule minus x is cube by 4 into 2 by 3 minus 6x by 4 into infinity and e by 2 is 0 and divided by divided by 2 and now I shall put in here 0 0 0 so what if I get I get e into e by 4 e by 4 plus e 2 e by 3 divided by 2 e equal to so friends my answer is 8 8 e plus 3 e divided by 24 is equal to 11 e by 24 so friends hence this is my answer this problem is very tough but it is actually not tough it is just simple derivatives now i want to solve this problem let a is equal to a is equal to x square plus 2x plus 3 so a is equal to mean x square plus 2x plus 3 and it can be written mean x plus 1 whole square x plus 1 whole square plus 2 so friends friends this is the asking that what is the minimum value so minimum value would be 2 when x is equal to minus 1 otherwise all value is positive means x plus 1 whole square plus 2 greater than equals to greater than 0 not equals to 0 greater than 0 so minimum value is always 2 now 
my second question is b is equal to limit theta tends to 0 1 minus cos theta divided by theta square is equal to limit theta tends to 0 2 sin square theta by 2 into theta square is equal to is equal to theta square by 4 into 4 is equal to we can say half as sin limit x tends to 0 sin x by x is equal to 1 theta tends to 0 so theta by 2 tends to 0 so this is my answer half so now the question is s is equal to summation r equals to 0 to n a to the power r b to the power n minus r equals to b to the power n summation r equals to 0 to n a by b whole to the power r equals to b to the power b value is half half means 2 to the power n and a by b value is is 4 to so summation r equals to 0 to n divided 4 to the power n so friends it can be written sorry 4 to the power r 1 by 2 to the power n into 4 to the power n n plus 1 minus 1 divided by 4 minus 1 equals to 4 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 divided by 3 into 2 to the power n friends here I apply a plus ar plus plus ar all to the power n minus 1 equal to a into r to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. This is the GP series. GP series apply here r is equal to 4 and a is equal to also 1. Now, friends. We will solve another problem. This problem limit x tends to 1 plus 0 integration 1 to x t plus 1. It can be written limit h tends to 0 integration 1 to x uh, 1 to 2 x means in here 1 plus h 1 plus h into t one plus h into t minus one into dt divided by sine sine h here h is equal to x minus 1 so friends we get this way now we can write this way that t minus 1 and limit h tends to 0 1 divided by 1 plus h into t minus 1 into dt divided by sin h as mod of t minus 1 greater than 0 interval 1 comma 1 plus 
h so friends i can write this way limit h tends to 0 t square by 2 minus t 1 plus h 0 divided by sin h limit h tends to 0 1 plus h whole square by 2 minus 1 plus h minus this is the formula and this 1 plus h2 1 so 1 by 2 minus 1 divided by sin h after calculations we can get limit h tends to 0 2 plus h into h divided by 2 minus h divided by sin h and h i shall take common so i can write limit h tends to 0 h by sin h into limit h tends to 0 2 plus h by 2 minus 1 it can be written this way so i get it is 1 this value is 1 and i get 1 minus 1 equals to 0 this is my answer so friends i shall go to solve next problem number 5 this is the last problem fx fx is equal to a limit x tends to infinity fx is equal to limit x tends to infinity mod of x divided at 2 plus mod of x into the part 2x is equal to it can be written limit x tends to infinity infinity 1 plus Two plus mod x divided by mod x it can be written this way minus 2x and it can be written this way limit x tends to infinity 1 plus 2 divided by mod x to the power minus 2x is equal to e to the power minus 4 as x tends to infinity infinity so mod x is equal to x so friends thanks for watching this is my answer